Well, thousands of drivers travel across the Mississippi River every day, and many people in our area are wondering with the bridge collapse in Baltimore if something similar could happen here in our area. Fox 2's Mallory Thomas spoke with the Coast Guard and Missouri Department of Transportation about our bridges and what's traveling beneath them. It's a slower day on the Mississippi River, but the U.S. Coast Guard says the busy season is coming. The majority of our traffic are towboats and barges, and the majority of that cargo is agricultural product, whether it's fertilizer going upbound or agricultural products coming downbound for distribution. As the barges and boats travel the river below, heavy traffic flows on each bridge in and out of Missouri and Illinois. So we know this affects hundreds of thousands of commuters every day. And it's not just commuters, this is the freight hub of America. So we know products that are built here and manufactured here are headed all over the world. Eric Schroeder is the assistant chief engineer for MoDA and says his office is getting a lot of questions about bridges after Tuesday's news out of Baltimore. We designed these bridges specific to the spots they're in, but we use the national standards and we work with the Coast Guard and with the Corps of Engineers to make sure that we're addressing the needs of navigation. So we do design for potential strikes by barges. The most recent strike in the summer of 2022 along the Eads Bridge when a barge broke loose upriver. The barge did come alongside one of the support structures. Uh, there was no damage to the Eads Bridge. There was no damage to the barge itself. But when the barge broke free, the company called our command center, let us know that it happened immediately. We were able to put a broadcast out. In St. Louis, Mallory Thomas, Fox 2 News.